Mouse is gonna try to kill me. He was trying to kill me. Okay, alright guys, watch this. Bro, she's not even gonna see it coming. She's not even gonna see it coming. Boom, bitch, into the insta TP combo. And she iced right away, obviously. And then we just get some damage. Like, dude, I don't know why um, Sword Mage is playing tank stance versus Occultist. Bro, she just wasted everything on my light box. Like, she's so stupid. Into the swap. Okay, all right, well, we're a bit slow. That's okay, that's okay. Yep, thanks for your donation. I appreciate you. Okay, all right, now we just back off and we get some specials back up for the two star circle. Let's just play passive now. And then we get some big damage. I think she's gonna lamp it though. Yep, okay, yeah, I saw that coming. Okay, never mind, it's fine. We're gonna heal up from this anyway. There we go, easy peasy. I mean, she took some big damage, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Jesus. At the start box. Yep, let's uh, cancel that. And then we build specials again. Pretty simple. Straightforward. I remember there was one guy that came to me and said, Yo, S uh, sword mages are impossible. I was like, bro, like, what are you talking about? And she's dead. That's it. I mean, she's not in damage stance, but dude... Okay, so I want to show you guys real quick how I'm placing the circle right there at the choke point. As you can see, I'm literally manually dragging it over there. So then I don't get myself CC'd as well in the process. So just to show you guys, yes, you can actually do this. Okay, just in case if people are wondering, can you place the circle at a far away location? Yes, you can.
you're listening to this, the game has changed. If Masquerade's not in here, someone tell him in game that if I will make it my life, my life's journey to hunt him down. Okay, what is going on guys? It's your boy Masplade here again and we're back. Okay, with some more revelation. Alright, you know how we're doing this shit. Alright, but um yeah man, I have been doing quite a lot in this game recently. Um I've been trying to like push myself a bit higher, you know, try to uh make my builds even better uh for certain modes and whatever but um everything i've said in that occultist guide that i made before that is spot on like literally if you follow that guide bro you should not have a problem with this class okay now obviously this is the hardest class to play so i don't really blame people for making mistakes okay especially if it's like a case where oh um you nirvana the wrong person or um you're not really good with your swaps or um you need to practice placing your totems and your circles more you know um and spacing spacing is also very key with this class as well there's so many things that uh can go wrong with um playing this class but honestly it is what it is so i want to show you guys a few things um so okay here's another new rotation um that i didn't put in the guide because it's more of a pay to win rotation because you need to have the dark angel gold grade right now the thing is it still um chains with the same builds okay the same pve build that i showed you guys in the guide same shit okay now the thing is this time now we have the dark angel so now i, I can show you guys a more detailed version i could have showed this on um on oak's account on c server um i could have done this but uh yeah like i said you you can only do it if the dark angel is gold grade okay so i'm gonna show you guys what i mean now this this combo is very overpowered okay now watch this so remember let me just show you guys something real quick so remember the ultimate consumption is reduced by 30 percent now remember the grades of the angels it does not affect the output of the actual skill unfortunately so even though it's gold grade it still does the same damage the only difference is that the ultimate consumption is reduced so it's literally almost the same cost as like a two star you know like the reaper or the circle same shit so let me show you guys what i mean okay now the thing is with light angel you don't you don't really have to upgrade this like i said the healing output is going to be the same so getting it gold grade does not make a difference plus in the healing stance you will have ultimate acquisition speed anyway so that's why you don't really have to focus on getting the light angel gold grade okay you don't have to worry about this so you can keep that green it's actually fine it's only the dark angel you have to get gold and it has to be gold it can't be purple it can't be um blue it has to be gold because you need exactly 30 percent reduction and i'm going to show you guys why okay so let me just uh build some specials so i can show you guys what i mean okay just make it real quick I actually buffed Oak's character right there. Um, okay, we're almost there. Now, the way to do this combo, you need to have 200 ultimate acquisition speed. Now, I like to call this technique ultimate fusion. Okay, now what I mean by this, okay, it's literally what the name says, ultimate fusion. It fuses the two ultimates together and bursts at a higher rate. Now, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So, for example, if you're going to do, um, if you are going to do Endless Rift, uh, for example, if you're going to do Endless Rift, here is something you can definitely do. So, yeah. So, if you want to do Endless Rift, uh, this is like something you definitely want to learn because you're definitely going to like go to the dummies, but it's so good when you have light buff as well. And I'm going to show you guys why. Because the Dark Angel attacks faster. Remember, the skill increases your cast speed by 30% as well. So with Light Buff, okay, you can literally go crazy. Okay, so now that I have my ultimates up, 
Okay, I'm going to show you guys exactly what this looks like. So, um, in a rotation, you can, like, waste all of your, your skills, you know? Just do, like, some of this, some of this. Okay? Okay, then now what you want to do, you want to do AoE into orbs for the buff, into light buff, into circle, into dark angel. And then you just go crazy. And then what you want to do in a rotation, you want to stay in the angel, just keep attacking, keep attacking, keep attacking, keep attacking. And then you want to separate. And then once you've separated, you should have light buff almost up already. And then you can just use it once you get out of it, use your rotation again. You know, and then uh, you just repeat. Yeah, then after when you get 200 ultimates again, you use the light buff again, and then you rotate. That's what you do. So it's actually really crazy. Uh, the damage, dude, I was out DPSing some of my my, uh, my team members in Rift, and they didn't even notice. That's why um, I actually got the aggro um, during one of our Rifts. Three, two, Let's go. one. Bro, we can't play sneak out now. They gave ice, me access. Ice, ice. Imagine. Okay, guys. Um, now for this next part. Okay. Now, honestly, um, I have been getting a lot of questions and DMs on Discord. Um, like, I've been getting questions on my YouTube channel. I've been getting questions on Discord, uh, direct DMs um, about occultist um, questions and stuff and advice. Um, now guys, honestly, um, I don't blame you guys, I really don't, because I can release a whole guide and you guys still would need help with this class, like, that's that's how hard it is to play a cultist, like, there's so many gimmicks and mechanics with this class that people just, they haven't fully, like, understood yet, and it's really hard to, like, process all of this, you know, because there's two different stances for occultists, and there's di there's a lot of different builds as well. Trust me, I've seen um, some really crazy ones, all right? But I'm, I'm telling you guys the most optimal ones, especially if you look at the guides, okay? I showed you guys literally the most optimal builds you guys can use in your um, PvE raids, uh, whatever it is you're doing, okay? That's also why I wanted to mention the, uh, the advanced uh, Dark Angel rotation for PvE as well, just in case if you want to, like, try hard rift and stuff to like increase your damage output a lot higher um now the thing is right now the most important questions is like um like the, the most common ones you know like how do i make sure my nirvana targets the right people like honestly guys this is a rookie mistake i don't blame people for like you know like giving someone else nirvana and making a mistake you know when you wanted to target the other person or target yourself you know i i get it this is a very common mistake okay i've seen many occultists make this mistake so don't beat yourself up okay like i've seen this happen numerous times um now the thing is it's very simple all you gotta do is click the target okay and then just press nirvana that's it just make sure you're within 20 meter range okay because then you would be you would be um too far if you're above 20 meter range away from the target so you want to make sure you're within 20 meter range in order to give that person nirvana because if you're not within range what's going to happen is you're going to run towards that target automatically and then you could get caught in a cc and then actually put yourself at risk so you want to be very careful with that make sure you know where the target is okay and you be very careful um another thing um is that if you want to nirvana yourself okay now I've, I've seen i've seen a lot of people make this mistake okay like this happens all right guys now the thing is all you gotta do a really simple solution is just click on your hp bar on the uh the top left okay where your hp and your mana is and your name your level okay just just click where the hp bar is pretty simple and then it will automatically target you and then you just nirvana that's it that's all you gotta do it's that simple okay um now the thing is these are like questions i've been getting in my in my uh in my discord dms um specifically about the class and stuff and what to do about these things and these uh troublesome situations now another thing i want to mention is now okay now i've got a question that is actually 
pretty important for a lot of people for me to answer because some people are also confused with this now i've got a question on discord saying is it trolling to use dark angel in large scale pvp now the answer to that is no no it's not you can actually use it however now i'm going to explain to you guys the differences between the two angels and the two builds okay now the thing is with occultists in dark angel okay now the reason why i say occultists is more useful in large scale battles in in light angel okay is because in light angel you heal numerous people okay it's not just like your your team members in your party that you have um at the top left uh, corner okay like you know how you have yourself and four others in your party it doesn't just heal the five people in your party it heals numerous people in different raids as well so it dude is so good in terms of like overall performance that's why occultist is actually better played in support rather than damage it's more efficient okay in terms of performance for the overall raid you know so for example if like my guild and the opposing guild had like occultists right and then my guild was to use all their occultists in light angel and then their guild was to use all their occultists in dark angel now in dark angel it's not trolling because you can literally snipe people from the back line okay now the only issue with dark angel is is that it does not have control immunity so if you get caught and a, and like a, a paladin pulls you right or an assassin pulls you you are in deep shit okay like that is that like bro i cannot express this shit enough okay you are actually in trouble like i mean that with a hundred percent with a thousand percent like dude if you get caught you are dude you are pretty much fucked okay the only way to save yourself is to nirvana really quickly but the thing is you can't nirvana when you're cc'd so you have to use your totem like 20 meters away from you and teleport immediately this is like the only way you can survive or if an occultist swaps you out that's the only way okay now the thing is with light angel is that it has a three second buff where you gain control resistance now the thing is you're not completely control immune you just have more control resistance so if someone tries to cc you while this buff is active um there's a chance it won't cc you or it can cc you but it just won't be as long as when you don't have the resistance on so for example if i have the buff on right and someone tries to jump on me and sees me, cc's me you know like a, a bm does like a dash stun instead of it lasting for three seconds it will last for one second that's like an example so you won't be stunned as long you know but then there's also cases where it doesn't stun you at all you know so it is what it is you know that's why light angel is pretty good and the good thing about light angel is that you can also heal the raid while moving at the same time dark angel you cannot move while you're attacking so like i said if you get caught uh like dude if you get caught that's it you know like bro it's very risky that's why i say go support instead of damage for occultists in large scale battles it is just so much better okay now now that, like i said it's not trolling if you use dark angel mass pvp it's not trolling you can use this now now here's the only time i, I would say personally for an occultist to go dark angel and for it to actually be worth okay this is like the only time i would say this now the only case where it's worth it is if the occultist is like like giga whale like i mean like super super pay to win if he's like really high gear score then i would say yeah go for it because bro if you snipe a crowd in dark angel with that much gear score bro you're gonna burst the fuck out of these crowds okay and the thing is every attack the dark angel does you can do this like 50 meters away it, it also penetrates walls by the way it goes through walls and it's aoe each bullet that you shoot out from the dark angel like dude each attack that you do it's aoe and it goes through walls and it's 50 meter range like you can just snipe people so that's why it's also pretty safe because you have long range that's why it's pretty good the only thing is that you have to use um you have to drag the skill manually in order to snipe without a target so you have to like um actually 
click the skill and like drag it out in order to show the hitbox and then you do the attack instead of actually like pressing a key or like tapping the skill itself because with that scenario you need a target in order to do that so that's the way it works um i have a perfect example um from one of my uh occultist uh, guild members named rain um he also uh has a lot of gear score as well he used dark angel in uh, death island pvp one time and he showed a perfect example if you guys want to see that video i can link it in the description below um if you guys want to check that out uh, it's an actual good example of what dark angel can look like in a large scale battle um but yeah that's like pretty much the best tips i can give for you guys um for like large scale pvp and stuff but uh definitely play healer occultist okay for large scale pvp it is so much worth even for 5v5 for 5v5 i personally think um uh healer occultist is more efficient along with the spirit shaper because then all your team members survive a lot longer um another thing is that you're more tanky in healer build than you are in damage build so even if you get focused you don't die as quickly because most of the time people focus the occultist anyway that's why i would say for 5v5 you should go healer build instead um but yeah um for 3v3 you can definitely go damage uh this is fine now the thing is you can go healer build but i personally think damage is more efficient you know um but anyway so uh that's about it um i hope you guys uh enjoyed uh, these videos because um i try to make them when i have free time and i try to do the edits as best as i can it does take a lot of time it takes quite a lot of hours actually to do these edits and stuff but i hope you guys enjoy anyway um i will be making more videos obviously uh for this game because i do enjoy playing the game it is a lot of fun and i do enjoy doing pvp um i've seen a lot of you guys uh from na server as well like we've had like some chats about pvp like bro it goes crazy man but yeah man if you guys ever want to like spar uh one time you know dude you hit me up man if you ever want to like practice i'm always here okay but i play on eu okay so you would have to like make an account on eu if if you're like a na player and you want to like spar with me or whatever then yeah you're gonna have to like make an account on eu and then um uh, show up and shit but yeah man we can have some fun you know but yeah dude is what it is anyway um that's pretty much it um again if you guys have more questions uh, about occult occultists and stuff and you're struggling uh, a little bit then i can help you with that no problem uh just hit me up on discord you know my discord is public you know that's what it's there for um so yeah definitely uh just give me a message and i'll try and help out as best as i can so that's it um thank you guys for watching uh this will be by mass player here and i will see you guys next time i am the chosen one I have been chosen to rule this planet.